Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Elva Sunday and we have co-stars. We're back to co-stars again. So if you're new to my channel, every Sunday will be an Elvis movie day and I kind of do Elvis co-stars every second Sunday and then I do Elvis movie double features every second Sunday. So it's kind of like that. But there will always be movies on my channel. If I could have it every day, I would. <laughs> so I love the Elvis movies and Elvis movie songs are my life. Um, So let's go and have a look at Harem Scarum. Yay! So we're going to have a look at Mary Ann Mobley. Oh, love her, love her, love her. She's one of the nicest people in the world to um, listen to. She was a beautiful co-star to Elvis and um, speaks really highly of Elvis. If you have missed it, I did make a series where it was um, Mary Ann Mobley and three other co-stars and it was on the Joan River show. It is in my playlist. If I remember I'll put it down into the comments. If I don't go onto the playlist section, have a look. And um, all the parts are there and just wait till you hear Mary Ann if you didn't watch it with me. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so Mary Ann Mobley was born on February 17th, 1937 and she died on December 9th, 2014. Bless you. Bless you, Mary Ann. Um, she was an American actress, television personality in Miss America in 1959. She was um, born in Biloxi, Mississippi, US, and um, she died at the age of 77 in Beverly Hills, California. Her alma mater was University of Mississippi. Her occupation was an actress, uh, years active, 1960 to 2003, and her titles were Miss Mississippi and Miss America, and... Um, her spouse was Gary Collins, who she married in 1967 and who died in 2012. And she had three children. So that's some of her personal details. Now let's get into Mary Ann's career. Mary was born in, 30, in 1937 in Biloxi. And after her reign as Miss America, Mobley embarked on a career in both film and television. She signed a five-year contract with MGM and she made her first television appearance on Be Our Guest in 1960 followed by five appearances on Burke's Law from 63 to 65. In 66, she was the female guest star of the two, first two-part episode of Mission Impossible in the episode Old Man Out. She went on to make multiple appearances on Perry Mason, Love, American Style and Fantasy Island. She played a recurring role as Maggie McKinney Drummond on Different Strokes in the final season of the series. Um, having taken over the role from Dixie Carter. She also played Arnold's teacher on Different Strokes in Season 2, Episode 24. In Carter's later series, Designing Women, Mobley guest starred as Karen, a snide head of a historical society who crossed swords with Carter's character, Julia. She made two films with Elvis Presley, um, and it was Girl Happy and Harem Scarum, of course. She was given the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year, Actress in 65, and she was active in many charitable causes and was awarded the Outstanding Young Woman of the Year Award in 1966 by Lady Bird Johnson. Mobley also made occasional appearances on Game Match, no, Match Game, as one of the celebrity panellists from 73 to 77. From 84 to 88, um, she joined her husband, Gary Collins, by co-hosting the Pillsbury Bake Off on CBS. And she appeared in the documentary film Miss America, which PBS aired as the January 27, 2002 episode of American Experience. Mobley is briefly depicted in the third season of the Amazon Prime series The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, played by Amanda De La Cruz. Oh, going to watch it. I'll have to watch it just to see that. Um, Miss America, her title. Mobley was crowned Miss America in 59, the first Mississippian to achieve this honour, winning the National Talent Award. Mobley joined husband Gary Collins, of course, in the co-host of uh, an 89 Miss America pageant. So um, earlier on, I said for three children, Collins and Mobley had one daughter together, um, Mary Clancy Collins, and Mobley was a stepmother to Melissa and Guy, who were children from... Gary's first marriage. Um, Mobley had Crohn's disease and had at times been an activist for improvements in the treatment. She was treated in 2009 for stage 3 breast cancer. Mobley died at her home in Beverly Hills in 2014, aged 77 from breast cancer. So um, yeah, Mary was not only beautiful but beautiful inside and such a gorgeous spirit and I can imagine anybody would be blessed to be in the company of Mary. 
Now, this is only, I have never met Miriam Mobley, but you can tell from a person when they speak how beautiful they are inside. And that's the impression I get from Miriam Mobley. I think she's wonderful and one of my most favourite co-stars after actually hearing her talk. And not just about Elvis, but the, just the way she carries herself in general and the way she respects other people, their privacy and um, non-judgmental attitude. And I just absolutely am all for that. So yeah, and Elvis and Marianne, have, they had a beautiful connection together and they were friends. And she considered Elvis one of her favourite friends. And they never seen each other off set, just on set. But even that was enough to bond them together. And I think that's beautiful. So thanks very much for joining me on this one. It's been a bit of a shorter one, but it was lovely finding out a little bit more about her and her career. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope I've put up some gorgeous pictures. I'm sure we have lots, especially from the pageants. All right, I'll see you all later. Take care of yourself and have a good one.